Hello everybody, how's it going? Um, today is day five of Conspiracy Grotesco, where we read Teatro Grotesco and The Conspiracy Against the Human Race, both by Thomas Ligotti. <coughs> and today's story is um, Sideshow and Other Stories, which um, sounds strange when you're reading a book of short stories and then you come across a story that is a title and other stories. Um, but there is a purpose for it. And, um, so I won't give spoilers until I give spoilers. Okay? So I'll, I'll let you know. So basically, how this works out is that our narrator is this guy who um, goes to this um, shitty cafe, coffee shop, um, at night to drink coffee, smoke cigarettes, and um, write in a notebook because um, he's a writer, okay? And the waitress who is there notices that there's another guy who comes in every night who sits on the other side of the um, diner thing and does the exact same thing. Comes in, drinks coffee, smokes cigarettes, and jots stuff down in a notebook. So she's like, why don't you guys, like, you guys probably have a lot in common. You guys should, like, chat or whatever. So they start talking every day and the second guy is a bit older and a bit weirder than the narrator um so i'm just going to read to you some of the things he says um all of the myths of mankind are nothing but show business everything that we supposedly live by and supposedly die by, whether it's religious scriptures or makeshift slogans, all of it is show business. The rise and fall of empires, show business. Science, philosophy, all the disciplines under the sun, even the sun itself. Um, and then he goes on talking about that. But then he says... I make no claims for my writing, nor have I any hopes for it as a means of escaping the grip of show business. Writing is simply another action I can perform on cue. I order this terrible coffee because I'm in a second-rate coffee shop. I smoke another cigarette because my body tells me it's time to do so. Likewise, I write because I'm prompted to write. Nothing more. Um, where does he... Where's that line? Oh, sorry. This, I, I'm trying to find... I thought I had a marker for it, but I don't. Um, my focus or center of interest, he said, has always been the wretched show business of my own life, an autobiographical wretchedness that is not even a f not even first-rate show business, but more like a series of sideshows, senseless episodes, without continuity or coherence, except that which, by virtue of my being the ringmaster of this miserable circus of sideshows, I assign to it the most bogus and show business like fashion, which of course falls to main or fails to maintain any genuine effect of continuity or coherence. Inevitably so. But this I found is the very essence of show business. All of which in fact is no more than sideshow business. The unexpected mutations the sheer baselessness of beings, the, vital, the vitality, vitality, whoa, of things, 
By necessity, we live in a world, a sideshow world, where everything is ultimately peculiar and ultimately ridiculous. And so the narrator gets all pissed off and he's like, by what standard? Like, I don't understand. And he says, by the standard of that unnameable, unknowable, and no doubt non-existent order that is not show business. And then he got up and walked off. Um, so the idea here is, is that, um, everything's a show. Everything we do, um, is putting on some sort of spectacle for others. And, um, the story takes a turn here, which you kind of don't expect. Basically, when our narrator shows up, and this is all like the foreword of this story, so I'm not like killing it for you or nothing, but I think the guy he's talking to, like all of his dialogue is the most interesting part of this whole story, especially with what we're talking about between the two books. But, um, so he goes back, the narrator, and the dude's not there. And it's like the first time he hasn't been there. And then the waitress comes up and hands him like this pile of paper. And he's like, hey, um, that guy came in here and, um, wanted me to give this to you and said you want to be seeing him again. And it was a bunch of stories that the guy wrote that at first do not seem to have any connection with the other. And then um, at the end of all of this, um, I guess if if I'm getting too spoilery, now would be the time to um, mute me until I go. And then that means you could come back. Um, the narrator puts some pieces together and um, makes some decisions of his own. Which is uh, kind of like the... I don't want to call it the hero's journey because it's not, but like the... Uh, like, And I don't want to call it a twist because I don't think it's a twist either. You know what I mean. So the stories he gives them is um, The Malignant Matrix... Premature Communication, which was probably my favorite out of all of them. The Astronomic Blur. The Abyss of Organic Forms. The Phenomenal Frenzy. Those are the five stories he gives this guy. And in our narrator reading those stories and coming to a conclusion of his own... Um, it is very satisfying, um, and makes you wonder. So, um, that is Sideshow and other stories. Um, it's one of those stories where you kind of, you kind of don't know where you're going until you're almost there. And then the ride is so worth it. So, um, yeah, again, I love this book. It's highly recommended by this guy here. So, okay, that means you could come back now and unmute me. All right. So, um, other than that, today, today, today at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, if that's even what they use anymore. I don't know if it is. Um, I'm going to be here live streaming, um, doing a reading, um, unveiling my new chat book and, um, just having drinks with y'all and, um, having a good time. Um, I might actually, I was thinking about this today. I might actually stream on Instagram at the same time. Um, because posting links in Instagram is like, you, you just, you can't do it. And it's a pain in the ass to try to get people off of there. So I might be on both at the same time. Um, worlds colliding. Okay. 
Um, so anyway, so that's that. And um, I felt like there was other stuff, more stuff, but I just don't think I remember. Oh, yes. Um, the Poetic Anarchy course. Um, there are now four spots left. So if you wanted in on this, um, the spots are vanishing um, quickly. And that is going to be so much fun. I can't freaking wait to do that. That is going to be a blast. Oh, so anyway, um, I hope you guys are having a good day. I'm about to go get my kid vaccinated. Um, we finally found a place t that has the Pfizer vaccine. So um, we're going to do that. And so then everyone will be all vaccinated and um, doing good. So um, stay safe out there. And I will see you tonight at 6 o'clock. Goodbye. Oh, shit. I forgot to tell you guys something. So tomorrow, um, in the Conspiracy Against the Human Race, we're going over Mutation, Undoing 1, Zombification, and Undoing 2. So if you are following along, there it is. And in the description below, we will... I... we... Um, is the schedule for... Um, how all well, this is working out, okay? So I'll see you later. Bye-bye.